Hey guys, Will with Stank Saltwash. Today we are going to remove this oxidation that's on the vinyl. Check it out. We're going to use this stuff called Oxnox from Southeast Saltwash. I saw some really awesome videos on this stuff, so we're going to give it a shot. Didn't find any information for vinyl, but we're going to try that today. It definitely has a familiar smell to it. Um, I don't know if any of you guys use LA's Totally Awesome, but that stuff works good too. But I think this stuff beats it for sure, especially because it's brushless. And that's why I'm now doing this. Finished treating it, finished spraying it. Took maybe two minutes to spray this side. Um, probably a little faster if you had a soft wash pump, but that's just excessive uh, for something like this. But um, pump pump sprayer, something that you know has got some pressure behind it like this um it's a 70 psi this thing does really well but um it's eating it man it's, it's doing good this oxnox is nice but we'll find out we're going to rinse it off and see what's left surfactant to it I didn't add any uh, it seems to have enough of that in there um, seems a little blotchy just nothing on my hand now let me just take that and we got some maybe more rinsing I don't I don't know we'll see it looks a little blotchy it kind of maybe didn't get a good contact on it or or something I don't know um, I have to hit it again we we did a four to one ratio so we did four gallons of water to one gallon of oxnox um, maybe we need to do three to one try that next and see if maybe we can get rid of some of this blotchiness some of the leftover or let it dwell longer it was about 15 minutes so i don't know how much more it would have worked by letting it sit longer but try again well, this video gets as raw as it can be this is all just on the fly i don't know anything about this stuff other than a few videos we watched um but it, it seems to, to really work I would probably, if I had to do maybe one side, usually it's, it's what, two, two sides, three sides at the max that's oxidized on homes. Um, obviously it depends on where you live, but uh, I, I would probably charge 349 for this house for you know this side and the front and a couple of pieces. I, I think about 340 would be enough um, get in and out within 45 minutes or so. All right, so the four to one ratio was not working very well. Um, at, at the initial contact, it, it started to eat it up, turn it brown, and and everything. But when it came to the rinse, it wasn't. It hadn't eaten through fully. Uh, and that was that was good. 15 minutes more. Uh, 15 minutes or more of dwell time. Um, but we upped it to, I think we did 3 to 1 ratio, maybe closer to 2.5 to 1. 
Um, definitely not 50-50. That would be too much. But uh, three to three to one at most, um, or at least on a vinyl side, and would lose the trick. This was really bad. I mean, there's not a single shaded tree around this house, so it just bakes in the sun. Um, I will say it took the paint off of the gutter. That was a 15 minute dwell time. I, I don't know, I guess maybe that was my fault. I sprayed, you know, uh, the side of it and both sides, whatever, just trying to get it all. Um, I didn't expect the paint to, to come off like that. Um, I don't know if there's something I could have done differently on that, but other than that, I gotta talk to the customer and maybe uh, just come out here one day and paint it for her. But um, there's, there's no more uh, stripes. This, this thing is nice. Um, came out really good. Three to one ratio is a good for vinyl. From my experience, I didn't find any, I couldn't find any videos on Oxnox on vinyl homes. So uh, here's my video and it does well. Watch out for gutters. Uh, do a test spot, foundations, uh, I've rinsed that a few times. It's kind of eating the paint a little bit on that, too. Um, I don't know what else I could have done differently. Um, but if there is anything else, let me know. Southeast Soft Wash, respond to my, my video and tell me what I did wrong or could have done differently. Um,